What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to boot from from USB on your Lenovo laptop or any laptop uh, running Windows 8. Mostly this is for the Lenovo laptops because uh, recently I found out that the new laptops have a new thing. I think it's called UE UEFI instead of the old hard, uh, hard drive format which if you try to load from USB it wouldn't work and with this Lenovo it doesn't have like when you start up at pre, pre post it doesn't say press F1 or F12 or whatever combination to load from uh, USB or BIOS mode so here here it is first what you want to do is press the Lenovo key as it says on the instruction manual but it doesn't say which one is the Novo key the Novo key is the this one right here the which is the one key recovery as seen down here so all you gotta do is just like press it down and let it go like if you were to uh, press the power button so you just and that's it and the computer's turning on there it goes and that's it oh, and now what you want to do to boot from USB you want to go into the the BIOS setup because it has normal startup which is just gonna go to your normal operating system which for most of the computers now Windows 8 BIOS is the, where you make your changes the boot menu is just what you want to boot from like uh, this one I could boot from uh, a from the hard drive and from the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses which is the network interface card and system recovery which is just to restore your computer back to before as you can see up here it says Novo but in menu so now what you want to do first is go bio setup you're gonna get up here and what you want to do now is just head all the way to boot as you can see boot mode on the Lenovo a lot of I don't know if it works on other computers maybe they don't have the one key but it might be the same process the boot mode is the new which is UEFI which that's why I can't boot from USB or any other hard drive at first I try to I put my Linux hard drive in this computer and it didn't work said something I couldn't boot and and also be sh and okay so let's continue so in boot mode you see UEFI just press enter and this window will pop up saying you want to boot UF UEFI and or legacy support put legacy support which is gonna give you a, a new new options down here is gonna be legacy and uh, and and here you could choose whatever you want to boot priority UEFI first which is your internal hard drive your Windows 8 I would just leave it like that since I'm gonna be using Windows 8 most of the time and just Linux or from USB once in a while so and then also be sure to have USB boot on enabled and as you can see it says legacy doesn't have anything because uh, well this is a laptop it only has one hard drive internal hard drive my uh, Linux is in this external one which is a USB so once you do that just go to exit and exit saving changes all you're doing is just hitting your keys and, it, and down here it tells you also the instructions how to move you just use your arrow keys to move around like this and then okay now let's save the changes and press yes it's gonna what your computer is going to do now it's going to load into Windows 8 and as you can see there's no F1, F2, F10, F12 on the bottom of the screen and that's what I was talking about that you needed to hold the novel key to get into the uh, bio setup 
So for now, it's just gonna start. And once it starts up, you can just turn it off. And I'll connect my USB once I turn off my computer. Okay, so here my computer started on Windows 8. All you want to do is just hit the power button over here and shut down. Let it turn off completely. As you can see, the lights are still on. Okay, now it's completely off. So I'm going to connect my USB hard drive, which I have a Kali Linux in it. It's just Linux. Here's the USB. I'm going to connect it to the USB on the side. Okay, it's now plugged in. And again, if you if you left it at UEA5 first, that it always boots off Windows 8 first instead of the legacy, which is the uh, other format. Just hold the one key recovery, which is the Novo key. Here's your com your computer should start. And here, here we're back at this menu again. And all you gotta do now is just go to boot menu. And here I have my options. It says Windows Boot Manager, which is gonna take you straight into. See, it says Boot Manager ST500L, which is my internal hard drive. As you can see, ST500L. So it's the same thing since the boot manager is the whatever you left it at to go in first. So so that my internal hard drive. This is my DVD uh, my CD drive which is on the side. If, here as you can see HDD means hard disk drive. And this one is just a SATA ODD. You might think what what is that? Is that my hard drive my external hard drive no you can see on the side it's gonna say DVD RAM which is your DVD drive the network boot is your network interface card and here you can see USB HDD which is your USB hard disk drive so I'm gonna choose this one and just press enter and here we are I'm in my uh, my uh, Linux operating system which is running from the, the the USB hard drive on the side as you can see it has a red light here which means it has power and that's how you do it guys as you can see it's working properly how it's supposed to this is what it normally does and well that's it hope this video helps you and I'll see you on the next one alright guys here it is I, I, I just um want to show you that it works here I am my operating system works I'm gonna go to my computer and what I meant by this is what I normally does this is what yeah cat um, Linux normally does if I was booting from Windows it would have start normally the the all the uh, code that came out on the screen is just normal for Linux that will never come up on Windows you can see here's all my hard drives, all my partitions, which this one's uh, where I'm from, the the external one. This one is going to be, this is my Lenovo, nah, there's a lot of, on the Windows 8, but there's a lot of different stuff. But yeah, all the script that came up uh, in the previous clip is normal. That's for Kali Linux, normal in Linux, and uh, if, and like I said, Windows 8 or Windows 7, Windows XP, whatever, it would have been normal. Just want to clear that up. Uh, I don't want people to think that there's something installing on your computer by doing this. This is normal for Linux, and uh, just it's just the same thing, but you could boot from USB. If you don't want to remove your hard drive, since it could be a pain on this computer, on this computer, I'll have a video on how to remove the hard drive on this laptop, which is down here. Uh, pretty soon.
So I'll see you in the next one.